Hey, we're going to be going through how to uh, connect Go High Level with uh, our active campaign. So uh, if you're watching this uh, and, and you're on our team, what we're doing is we collect leads through Go High Level. That's the software that you'll have access to. And uh, the problem is we, uh, we can send emails through Go High Level. It's just not as effective or efficient in our deliverability of the emails actually not going into spam is is different than using active campaign so we have another software called active campaign which is our email uh, uh, marketing system and so we have these two systems we have go high level and then we have active campaign and we need them to talk to one another so i'm going to walk you through how we set that up so in order for this to happen we need a landing page with a form uh, and i'm going to walk you through the steps of once you have the landing page made and the form made uh, what do we do from there so the first thing that we need to do, we're going to assume as I'm, I should pause as I'm doing this, we're going to assume that we've made a list in active campaign and that we have a form uh, and a landing page already made in high level. So right now you can see I'm inside of the funnel section of high level. We have an opt in page. Uh, and if I if I you know, click in here, you'll be able to see that we have a page with a button. On this button, it says the action is to open a pop-up. So if I go to the pop-up tab up here, you'll see that I've created a form. And so now we're going to say, hey, well, when someone fills out this form, what are we going to do with their info? So I've set it up so that they're going to automatically go to our thank you page. But then we want them to go into an automated email sequence. So what we're going to do is connect the two together. So the first thing that we have to do inside of high level is we're going to need to create a pipeline. So you're going to go over to settings. You're going to go to pipeline and we're going to name this. Uh, we're going to name this uh, whatever our opt in page is essentially. So this is, uh, you know, paycheck predictor uh, leads predictor. I'm going to call it a calculator because that's how I know it by leads. And we're just going to have lead for stages. Uh, yeah, for now, that's all we're gonna do. You just need to put lead and just delete the second one. We'll add stuff later, but for now you just need a lead. And then from there we can we can build out a, on another video, I'll show you how we build out more of the pipeline, but we just need a place to pump them into. So now what we need to do is tell high level, hey, as soon as someone fills out that form, we need to move them to this uh, pipeline. And the reason we do that is we're gonna use another tool called Zapier. And the only action it can uh, pull from is if someone's moved in a pipeline. So that's why it's important. So we're going to go down to triggers down here. By the way, if your dashboard looks a little different than mine, just go to uh, automation and you'll see triggers under automation. So we're going to make a new one. We're going to add a trigger. We're going to call this uh, uh, predict, what do we call it? Paycheck, paycheck predictor calculator leads. And we don't need to put this in a folder, so we're just going to save this. Cool. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose Healthy Funnel. We're going to go to Form Submitted. We're going to add a filter, and we're going to choose, hey, what's the form? And we're going to go find the right form. So we're going to go find the Paycheck Calculator Leads. And we're not going to add any other filters. So we're just going to say everyone that comes through here, uh, we want to keep an eye out for this. And then we're going to add them to, we want to update, add update opportunity. It says, hey, what pipeline do you want to put them in? We're going to go find the one we just made. So we're going to go find the paycheck predictor calculator leads. We're going to move them as a lead. Uh, we're going to say that they're open and we've now added them to a pipeline. Now, the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a tag. So I recommend that you add a tag for us. So whatever this is, just something that we know um, they are, uh, you know, we can keep it uh, separated by tags if we need to. So we're going to go uh, paycheck predictor calculator sign up. And then what you have to do is hit this plus button down here and that's all set. And this is the first thing we need to make this happen. So I'm going to go ahead and make this activated. So now it's active and I'm going to click save. Cool. So this is uh, working. So now any new lead should get put into this pipeline. And you can always go back and check into opportunities. Once people opt in, go check the uh, predictable online business. No, paycheck predictor leads could go look in here. 
and you'll notice no one's here because no one's filled it out. Um, but if I were to go through and let's see if I fill this out, you guys can see here. Cool. Awesome. So uh, we've got this. And then if I go now to the pipeline, wherever I had this, you'll see I popped in here. And it looks like there is interesting. Looks like people are getting tagged somehow through this. Hmm. Interesting. So I got to go figure out how to why these tags are on here. I'm not sure why these don't make any sense. Uh, and that's not through that. So I'm going to go make sure that I can check on that. So I'll, I'll make sure that part's cleared out. There should just be this one tag and you'll be able to see me here. Now we're going to go to, uh, you're going to open up Zapier. So you should have access to our Zapier account and you're going to go and uh, I'm going to back out so we can start from scratch. You're going to go to create a zap. And the first thing that we're going to do is you're going to do lead connector. That's the name for high level on Zapier for whatever reason. You're going to choose an event, pipeline stage changed. Go to continue. Uh, we're going to go to high level. It'll make you sign into our high level account. If you have access, you just sign in. Uh, it'll pull in and then you're going to choose a pipeline. So we're going to choose a pipeline that we just created, which was the profit or predictable paycheck predictor calculator leads. So as soon as there are a lead, we want to take an action. So as soon as they're a lead, we're going to click test trigger. It might pull in my info. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you'll see Will Boyd. There's my stuff. WB Holdings Unlimited. Boom. So it pulled in that test info. And now what we want to do is we want to add them to our active campaign list. So I'm going to go to active campaign. It's going to say choose an event. We want to create an update at contact. We're going to click continue. It's gonna say, hey, what account do you wanna sign into? If you're not logged into our account, it'll say, hey, make sure you log into our uh, active campaign account. We'll send you over the details so you can get access to our account. But uh, you're gonna sign in, click continue. And then we're gonna go find the list that we made. So in this case, the list that we made, it's usually like the, the newest, furthest one down. If you scroll, see here, paycheck predictor leads. So we're gonna put them there. And now we just need to auto populate the field. So we're not gonna do anything with ID. We're gonna add in the email address. So if you click show all options, you'll see uh, email address somewhere down here. Location. Email, top is the number one, there we go. Email address. And then we're going to put in a name. So we're going to go first name, we're going to last name. And uh, we're going to go phone number. Get my phone. Uh, and then that's really all we're going to do. You could, and then I'm going to put a tag of predictor or, uh, paycheck calculator lead. So they're tagged in active campaign as well. And then that's all we really need here. So I'm going to go down, click continue. And I'm going to click test and continue. We're going to click turn on zap. And then we're going to name this. The last thing we want to do is name this because I do this all the time where I don't name it. Uh, and then it just all looks the same. So we're going to say uh, paycheck calculator leads to active campaign. Let's turn on. Got it. And now we're all set to go. So any new lead that comes in through our landing page here, if I back up, so anybody who comes in through here uh, and fills out this form, they're automatically then going to be added to our active campaign list. So if I refresh this active campaign list, there should be one active contact here in a minute. If I go find it. And sure enough, I should be in here. Boom. All set. Good to go. Cool. Hope that helps. Uh, this is just sort of how we connect the two um, to make our marketing efforts as efficient as possible. Awesome. Thanks so much for your help.